Yeah, people don't know what they actually right. believe in because there's so much powerful cultural influence, so much toxin, physical toxin, literal toxins and toxicity, cultural toxicity. You know, how are how am I to uh, protect my children from cultural influences that are telling them you have to look this way, be this way, behave that way, these are the things that are cool. If you're not this, you're not a man. If you're not this, you're not a woman. You know, like, like you know, as a parent, I feel the obligation to create an environment where they can grow up to be who they are, in inverted commas. Mm. And then when you sort of scale that up to a society, you know, how can we start to recognise look, is this time to look at different systems for living? And I, what I feel is people want to be involved in the, in the power systems that affect them. Like if you have a group of 100 people, they want to be able to run their own schools, run their own care systems, run, be in charge of their own lives, not just be some little beam of energy flicked about by cultural forces that they can't reach or touch. It's alienating. And like one of the things in Marxism, and, that, you know, and I know very little about this subject, is he says that when capitalism reaches a certain point, people will be lost, alienated. They'll feel like a cog in a machine. No one will have no pride in their work. No one will know what it's like to make a whole bicycle and think, look, I made that. You're just, you're the guy that makes the pedals. Now, fuck off home. Mm. You know, now, like, you know, like, I've listened to enough Jordan Peterson to understand that there are limitations yeah. to what socialism and Marxism can achieve. But just because, you know, capitalism is better than feudalism, that doesn't mean that's the end of the conversation, that we shouldn't be looking for fairer, better, more just ways of living. Well, um, yeah, I yeah, don't know if I capitalism know. is the problem, but maybe it's how people engage with capitalism. Maybe it's what people choose to focus on. If you're just about acquiring wealth and money, some people are, yeah, they're going to be very deeply unhappy, and it's going to be this weird game of acquiring influence and power till you just have this insurmountable mound of money that you live on top of, right? I don't think that's a, a good way for them either. I think Everybody. if we're going to really... What? We're going to look at this country fairly. We have to look at, think of all the poor neighborhoods. Imagine being born in those poor neighborhoods. And imagine okay, being born in a place where there's care. no resources. There's no hell. You're living in the fucking mountains of West Virginia. Those coal mining Excuse communities. Me? or People are, it's all just mobile homes and pills. And it's chaos. And just extreme poverty. What's what do you the do problem, if you're stuck? What if, you, if you're born into that clan? That's the group you're born into. You're fucked, man. You're fucked. We have to take our resources and concentrate on parts of America the same way we concentrate on many other problem spots in the world and look at them as like, hey, man, there's a spot where people are fucked. Mm. We should unfuck them. Yeah. We should figure out a way to go into every single horrible community in this country, on this planet, ones that are just as bad as some that you see in third world countries. They exist right here in America. Fix that. Don't ignore that. That's crazy. If they're in Detroit, if they're in wherever the fuck they are, whatever, whatever the horrible community is, why isn't there a concerted national effort to eliminate that? That's a major source of crime. It's a major source of problem. People feel like they got fucked over in life, so they want to get at you and take from you because you got that easy road. But hey, man, you're born in the fucking suburbs. Hey, man, your mom and dad are still together. You know, hey, man, your, your dad has a job, and your mom's at home baking and shit. You live like a motherfucking Norman Rockwell movie. Fuck you, man. My mom's on crack. My mom's a prostitute. My life is hell. My dad beats me. I've been sexually molested since I was a little kid. This is the reality that people yes. exist in. They don't feel like anybody's coming to help them. We, we need to concentrate on that. If the government, if the government really cares about us, if they're really involved in social engineering and making America better again, make those places better. Those are the places you need to concentrate on, not tax breaks from fucking super rich corporations that get you in place. They, they make enough money, man. That's not the problem. The money, where, where the money goes, what's it being allocated towards? The biggest problem in our country is these in impossible to escape communities yeah. that so many people just get sucked into this trap and for every person that gets out and becomes a basketball player or a successful business person and they have this story about the poverty that they grew up in they they are so rare yes. and, then, and then it's not to be applauded that they so, go through that. It is. Why it's are we waiting? We should understand what are like, we waiting a for? Problem, that we're churning Come out on, all guys. these people that live with, with they, they start out in life with a massive deficit. Start out in life emotionally huh? fucked, physically abused. We can do they start that, you know. Everybody around them's a loser. Everybody's going to jail. Everybody What's is the problem, cuts, like, doing pills or this or that. The, the, we got the money. We can do to, it. To, to ask them to develop their own positive mindset. 
uniquely in a vacuum. It's preposterous. Why are you so much by your bootstraps? All those assholes. Hey, you gotta pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Like, they don't even have boots, man. You don't understand? Like, you don't know what you're talking about. You, you've never seen it. You've never been involved in that kind of Don't be such a It's, not fair. it's no. not fair at all. And if we care about people, that's what we should fucking care about. Uh, yes, I couldn't agree more. The it's number really one problem. The problem. And it's everywhere in the world. Why are you always so negative? And poverty. Imagine. We can do that. Everyone, we can the solve that. You can live is like a middle class Come on. Yes. Boy, everybody would be a lot more fucking relaxed. <laughs> if you always had meals, you always what had are we food, for? Everyone lives middle class. Come on. Shit. I mean, mm. obviously, that's way past the expectations that. we have right now for the world because, like, $34,000 a year globally puts you in the world 1%. I'm sorry, you what's know, the problem? That's the, if you make $34,000 a year, which is hard to live on, man, yes. that you, you're in the 1% of the world. But that standard that you've. Well, Something's very missing, darling. Is. I think achievable, and yeah. that will be the aim. And when you give just one